Hi everyone, this is Saili from Saili's Art. Today, I have got to show you a simple way to make a shaker card with just one single stamp. Shaker cards are always fun for kids as well as grown-ups. So now, let's start. For this, I have taken a white card sheet, fold it and make a card out of it this is a5 14.8 centimeters by 21 centimeters mark 2 centimeters from each side and draw a rectangle in the center your card will be in the inner rectangle and the outer rectangle is the border whatever you got to stamp stamp it in the inner rectangle for stamping, I am using the Tonic Studio Tim Holtz stamping platform. You can also use the acrylic blocks. This is a clear stamp set from Mudra Stamps and it's called Let's Party. I have used a single stamp set for the whole card. Place the images the way you want. Here. You can play with your imaginations. I want this big cake to be my center of attraction and a small little candle on top of it. If you have finished arranging everything, close it and add some pressure to stick all the stamps. See that it has no air gap. Now just remove the big cake. Ink all the images for which I have used the tubby dye ink pad in the black shade. Now add some pressure and stamp all the images. Here I am using the acrylic block for the rest of the card. You can use your imagination and fill the card. Now, if you think you have finished stamping, keep everything aside. For coloring, I am using the paper Kessel's watercolor pencils. This is the 24 shade pack. Let's start coloring.
we have finished coloring so now we will use some water to get a smooth finished look Use a black pen where stamping is not proper. This is done. Now the next step. I have taken a blue card sheet to make the border. Again, measure the card to cut the blue card sheet and make a 2 cm border rectangle. I have even cut the white card sheet of the same size to give the border some thickness. This is the transparent plastic sheet which you get in any stationery store nearby. Mark it with a marker and cut it to get the center part. But just cut the plastic sheet 1 or 2 centimeters extra. Now glue the white and the blue card sheet with the Febby stick. Now use the double tape for the whole border. This is the tape which you can get in any shop near you. Remove the paper and stick the transparent sheet to it. See that it's proper. Just keep it aside for a moment and we will add some sequins. This is mostly used for card making and embroidery. You get it anywhere. After placing the sequence, place the blue border. See that it, it is stuck properly or the sequence may stick to the double tape and won't move inside the card. Now we will stamp the big cake which we have kept aside. Stamp it on any piece of card sheet. Let's start coloring.
using water to get the finished look. Cut it with a pair of scissors. And now you can paste it on the card. Wait. If you think you need more thickness, same way, take another cut big cake and glue it together. Now add some double tape and stick it below the candle where earlier we had planned. This piece of cake will be outside the card, thus giving the card some dimension. Do comment and tell me if you liked my easy way of a shaker card and do try it. Thank you and hope you like the card. If you need the material list, it will be in the description box below. Once again, thank you and please do like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.